All right, for this video, we are going to be doing page three of our two point perspective packet. And um, one of the things I'm going to introduce to you is using a T square. Well, in order to use a T square, we have to tape our paper down. And when we tape it down, we're going to make sure that the bottom edge of our paper is lining up with the um, table. So here's the table, here's the bottom edge of my paper. And then the T square has got a little ledge on one side. It's right here on this side, and that's actually the back side or the bottom. And so what I can do is I can line this up against the table, and it, it butts up against the table so it doesn't go forward anymore. But it does allow me to go left and right, and that's where I get these vertical lines. Um, and what's nice about that is, again, is you're going to get nice, straight, vertical, up and down lines. So this is to your advantage to use. The second thing I'm going to introduce to you is the fact that I'm going to be doing my drawings in paint today. And I'm going to show you here what we're doing. We're going to do this city. And we are going to be doing, there we go. By the time we get done, we will have a building A, a building B, a building C, and the tall building back here, which is building D. That's right here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do it in paint. So let me switch over to my paint program. All right, and I have drawn a horizontal line across. That's the or only horizontal in my picture, and that is the horizon line. Um, I have a vanishing point on the left side and the right side, just like you should be doing also. So there's my vanishing point on the left side and my vanishing point on the right side. Okay, so the first thing in this packet, that the step that we're supposed to do is to draw a vertical line. Well, this is going to be below the horizon line, so we're going to start with the line, probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches tall. All right, and then I'm going to connect this line to both the left-hand vanishing point and the right-hand vanishing point. I'm also going to do that on the bottom. All right, and that is step one. Step two, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the left side with a vertical line so that we actually see the left side of the box. And then I'll do the same thing on the right side. Stop it with the vertical. And there we go, there's the right side of the box. And that's actually step, next step. Um, to finish step two though, we have to go from the top of each of these verticals to the opposite vanishing point. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and do this in red. So from here to that vanishing point, and from here to that vanishing point. Well, most of this is construction line because the only thing we need to keep is going to be, oh, let's try this again only thing we need to keep is going to be this portion of the line right here and right here. All right, and so this is building A. I'm going to go ahead and mark it. All right, so if you look at your example on the worksheet, um, we have building B, which is just to the right of building A. And building B is the same height as building A, and it's the bottom lines up with it also. So all we really have to do with building B is draw a vertical line down to get the right side. And then to get the top of it, we're gonna go from this vertical to this vanishing point. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. And then just to give you an idea, This is all you would need to keep is this line right here and of course the top back line right there. All of these red lines can be erased at any point. All right, and so this is building B. Okay, so building C is over to the left of building A and building C is also taller than building A and B. So that's the reason I'm erasing some lines here, just to make it a little easier. 
So actually, if we have building C over here and it's a little taller than building A, I'm gonna go ahead and erase a portion of this line because that means, nope, wouldn't see it. It's actually gonna go up right there. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy tool here and go straight up. They're actually touching, it's just a little taller. So I'll go up to about right here. All right, and now from the height of this, we can go to the left-hand vanishing point, the right-hand vanishing point. Okay, there's a corner to our building, but to stop it, we now need to go down with the vertical to make the left side and down with the vertical to make the right side. And there we go, we got left side, right side. Oh, left side, right side, but we're missing a top. So I want you to think about this. How do we get the top of this building? We've done this. That's right, we are going to go from this vertical right side to the left-hand vanishing point, this vertical, which is on the left side, to the right-hand vanishing point. Okay, and then we would keep this line and we would keep this line. All right, and there we have completed building C. Okay, so we've got building A, B, and C. Well, building D is our tallest building. And not only is it the tallest, but is the, it is the building that's the furthest back in space. So it's gonna be back here. All right, and in order to do this, we are going to extend this line up and it's gonna be taller than the horizon line which means it goes up into the sky area a little bit. It's overlapping the sky. So I'm gonna bring it up to about right here. And then we have to get a left side and right side. So left side, right side means vanishing points. Okay, and vertical lines. So there's a vertical line there and there's a vertical line there. And is, there you go. So that is building C, uh, correction, that is building D. Let's try that again. Kind of looks like a D. Anyway, and then we can go in and again erase all this stuff. These construction lines aren't necessary, only when we're making the building. But eventually you would be erasing all of these construction lines. This is not a completed city, but it is a starting point. And then the next one, we will talk about doing windows and doors. doors.